Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, this is NoChef here. When this video is released, it is officially Chinese or Lunar New Year 2020. However, I'm recording this on a New Year's Eve and I'm making something that is popular to eat during this time. I'm making some steamed dumplings tonight, or in Chinese, Zhen Jiaozi. There are so many recipes out there. Let me show you how I make mine. So here's everything that I will be using today. I've got green onion. Make sure you choose one of the onions to have a nice root. Keep watching and I will show you why. Seven cloves of garlic here, ginger, white pepper, Shaoxing cooking wine, light soy sauce, sesame oil, these dumpling wraps. I like this brand because they're nice and light in color. If you make your own, that's great. Here in the background I have black Chinese vinegar that is totally optional if you don't have one. I will be using this for the dipping sauce. One and a half pounds ground pork. Half pound of fresh cleaned deveined shrimp. If your board is moving a lot, take a damp piece of a uh, paper towel, and just place under. How fine would you like your garlic? It is totally up to you. The ginger. Same thing with the ginger. I like some chunks. So now let's remove the roots from all the onion except for this one. I'm going to save this for the very last step. Let's get rid of these drier parts. There you go. Let's cut up the shrimp. I would like to say pieces like this big because you still want to be able to taste the texture difference. Go ahead and set the shrimp aside for now. The side you chose for raw meat and seafood. Let it sanitize real good. Back to the pork. Onion, ginger, garlic going in. For the rest of the measurements, I will be using one tablespoon for reference. Shaoxing wine. Light soy sauce. Sesame oil. Probably about a half tablespoon. I'll just give it a drizzle. Just a good coverage. White pepper, I like to have a lot, about a tablespoon. So to begin with, I'm just going to mix it roughly. Now, I'm going to use chopsticks that don't have any texture, so it's easier to clean. The idea here is stir one direction. I don't know how well can you see, but this does no longer look like a ground pork and it's got like strings running through the meat. So that's what we're looking for. This means the protein has been arranged um, correctly. Now to develop texture further, take the meat and smack it into a bowl several times and go over all of it. This will make the meat a little bit more springy. So my logic behind not adding shrimp in the very beginning 
is that throughout all this process of meat texture development, they would simply get destroyed. I will add shrimp now though, and just give it a nice mix. Get everything mixed in fairly well. Let's get our steamer ready. Parchment paper, inner diameter. Let's make a circle. Doesn't have to be super precise. Let's see what happened here. Here we go. Fits pretty good. Now for making the dumplings. I have some water. Get some flat tool such as knife for the filling. And we'll place them directly into the steamer. Take about this much filling. Slide it in the center. What's nice about using the knife is that filling slides out really easy. Dip your fingers in water, apply to the outside circumference, bring the two sides together in the center and just pinch. Now a little water on the outside. And pinch good. Just three per side, I think, is enough. Like that. So, just give it a pinch all the way around to make sure it's all tight and sealed. It should have this kind of a curved form and it should be able to just stand up on its own. So here's what I currently have. So now I have this pot with a little bit of water in there. The steamer fits on this very nicely. So I'm going to use it. Bring this to boil. Now that the water is boiling, I'm gonna place dumplings here, cover 10 to 15 minutes. For the dipping sauce, I've got some onion chopped up here, a little bit of green and white part, light soy sauce, black Chinese vinegar. Give this a mix and then we'll try. Oh man, that's really good. There you go. They are ready. So, what you want to do relatively quickly, I fashioned the brush on a skewer out of the onion. Take some sesame seed oil and apply to the skin so that it doesn't get dry. Well, it is time to try them. Look nice. I'll have one just by itself. It is so good. The pork filling is nice and bouncy. The pieces of shrimp garlic and ginger gives completely different texture it's absolutely amazing let's now dip this in here nice
absolutely delicious. If you don't have blood Chinese vinegar, don't worry. Just mix some soy sauce and sesame seed oil instead. It is also good. Well, this is it for this recipe. It is my opportunity to tell you again, happy Chinese Lunar New Year. I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Please take care. I'll see you next time.